the internet has been under attack in America now for years, but if you think the fight for freedom on the internet, or really the fight to maintain freedom on the internet, is unique to the United States, you'd be mistaken, because currently in the EU, there's a new law that internet activists there are currently fighting that would actually maybe kill memes. And that's not hyperbole, that's actually what might result if this law is codified. As Josh K. Elliott of Global News reports, EU lawmakers may inadvertently destroy the internet's robust meme culture with a proposed law designed to fight online piracy. One article in the legislation would force online platforms such as Google, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter to automatically censor copyrighted content uploaded by anyone who isn't licensed to share it. Activists say the law will effectively kill the text and photo jokes known as memes, which often feature images from copyrighted TV shows and movies. The law would also have a profound impact on sharing of fan art, video game streaming, movie trailer reactions, and a wide range of pop culture focused blogs created by users within Europe and beyond in countries such as the US and Canada. The copyright directive legislation is primarily designed to take aim at online piracy, but two articles in the proposal have stoked outrage online. Under the potentially meme-killing Article 13, internet platforms would be responsible for automatically censoring and removing any unlicensed content uploaded by users, including videos, photos, source code, or music. The internet platform would be legally responsible for any breaches, meaning the everyday user, i.e. you, wouldn't be charged for posting a meme. You would just be censored from doing so altogether. Now, this isn't law just yet. Yet. So if you live in the EU, then there is still time to resist this, but it did recently clear some hurdles. It did pass. Um, it was approved by legal affairs committee. So it's a step closer to being law in the EU. Now, if you're in America, here's why you should care about this. Do you honestly think that if this passes in the EU, lawmakers here wouldn't be inclined to do the same thing? Of course they would. In fact, when we were talking about net neutrality last year, there were people who were advocates of an open internet in the EU saying, please, for the love of God, America, don't do this because I know that our country in Europe is going to want to do the same thing. So, I mean, also, this could potentially, I mean, I'm speculating, this could affect America because if these companies like Google and Facebook are going to be worried about being prosecuted in the EU, then it might be easier for them to have a policy that's uniform around the world, so they might just make sure that they remove copyrighted content altogether. Not just in the EU. The internet is under attack right now. It's under attack. It's not just authoritarian regimes who are clamping down on the internet. It is democracies. It's Europe. It's America who are, for whatever reason, doing everything in their power to kill freedom on the internet. And it's just... It's so outrageous. Lawmakers around the world are doing everything they can to ruin the internet, and it's just absurd. And I think that, you know, when PewDiePie was talking about this, he made a really great point. When was the last time a government anywhere really proposed the law that we didn't have to fight for our lives to defeat because it was so fucked up and draconian? I honestly, I can't remember. It's not like government is passing laws that benefit the people. Even though they're public servants, they're elected by the people, their paychecks are paid for with tax dollars. Everything they do now, everything, specifically when it comes to the internet, it's almost always negative. They're doing things to ruin internet freedom and make the internet a less free place. Look, you have to fight this if you live in the EU, and people in America should also be speaking out against this, because the internet really is the last bastion of freedom in the world at this point. We use the internet to obtain information about politics. We use the internet to organize politically. We use the internet for business. The internet is fundamental to the existence of the modern human being. And they're trying to destroy it. Lawmakers everywhere. So they've got to defeat this. This is very scary. The implications of this law... It's, it's honestly terrifying. It's very Orwellian. 
Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.